With gold having fallen over 150 pips today, I'm expecting another 350 this week. Stay tuned in this video. What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. What a Monday it has been. Dollar through the roof. Risk off the table. I'm here to break that down in this video. Before I carry on, make sure to click the link in the description below. Join my Discord. Join me every single morning on a live London session. There is further information in the Discord on how to get access to that and trade with me every single day. Now, gold, oil, commodities in general, along with equities, risk is completely off as China have announced several cities that were ready to open up with their COVID zero policy are now going back into lockdown. That impacts the markets directly because of risk, directly because of demand. At one point today, oil was down over 6% on the day. I'm here to cover what that means for the market in general. More importantly, how we can capitalize on that trading gold and catch a 350 pip move to the downside. So without further ado, let's hop onto the charts and run through the trade. Right, as we do dollar index at the forefront of my analysis every day, we have had near enough a full 1% move on the dollar today, meaning we rallied all the way from 107 straight to 108, just piercing 108. Uh, ever so briefly today, which has driven a move lower in risk. So looking at the likes of oil, oil did take a nosedive to the downside. We have had this V-shape immediate recovery right now. Nothing's changed. The narrative hasn't really changed. So I'm still sticking with my guns on that one. And my big friend, gold. Looking at gold on the daily time frame, last week we came straight into a key area of interest around the 1780 handle. Now, let me just change tiles of here for a second. Beautiful little Euro short, by the way, that I gave in the uh, Discord last week, running beautifully, roughly around 180 pips on this one. Looking for uh, 102 to get hit this week, probably today. Um, let's get gold on this side for a second. Weekly time frame, cool. Now, looking at the weekly, in my opinion, price remains bearish. Price remains in, in the swinging sort of function where we have had these peaks and these troughs in several occasions. Now, for me, understanding that China has gone back into lockdown in several cities is going to affect demand. Complete demand destruction. You still have a hawkish Fed. You still have several Fed members that have reiterated they are not by any means going to pivot. So whatever the market was previously pricing in is going to unwind that. So... Looking at dollar and looking at gold overall, today I expected a bit of a correction possibly back into these key areas of interest around the 1750 area. I have an alert on either side here actually to the downside and to the upside. Currently in a short position from 45, so 1745, roughly about 100 pips floating up on this trade right now. I am then just looking for lower pricing overall. So in my opinion, what I am going to be looking to do is short the rallies, short every little rally that we have um, on goal, we can see price obviously came into a key area of interest today where we had uh, that selling opportunity on that one. So for me, what I will be doing, and I highly recommend if you are monitoring gold, you abide by the same principle. We're not looking to buy the dips. We are simply looking to sell the rallies and inevitably looking to sell every move that we see higher on gold. So for me, Knowing that right now on the lower time frames, price may be pointing itself into a bit of a lower time frame, lower high over here, and we may see that follow through to the downside. So what I'm going to be doing is positioning myself, possibly taking a bit of money off the table on my current short, and then looking at adding, adding a position to this trade once we possibly jump back into, I would say, 1740. Anywhere into that 1740 handle, then I'm happy to add that exposure that I've already reduced right now, add that exposure back onto the table. But for me, right now, um, my overall downside target for gold this week would be 1700. So from where we are right now to 1700 does give us around 350, 360 pips. So just to reiterate, if I am a bear, that simply means I'm a dollar bull and I am looking to short risk assets and commodities. This does not mean, however, I have to hold the trade every session all week. 
This simply means I'm looking to sell the rallies. Whatever rally we have, I'm looking to short it. I'm looking to fade the strength, wherever that strength may be. It's up to us as traders to go ahead and find that lag. Now, this is something I mention every single day on my live calls. You are going to have that lag from time to time. It's up to you as a trader to find that. So for me, we obviously um, are slowing down now towards the end of the session. It is currently um, 6 p.m. here in the UK. So we are slowing down. I do just think if we do have that correction into the Asian session tonight, it is a short opportunity for us to capitalize on. But guys and girls, that was a quick video from me. My battery is currently dying, so I have to hurry up. Hope you enjoyed this video. Do like, comment, share, subscribe. And obviously, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.